hey y'all, you know, just lately I've been asking y'all if you had a recipe that you, you and your family have loved for years or just loved in the last year uh, to share them with me. And I'm so happy to be able to give y'all credit for them. Uh, I just love to know what other families uh, love out there. So I'm getting some response and I'm gonna read this letter as quick as I can to you. Hey Paula, I love watching your videos. I usually watch them while I'm making breakfast. Thanks for making me laugh. It is so needed this year. I met you in Durham, North Carolina about 15 years ago. I had my mom and baby girl with me. You held baby Madeline, and now she's learning to drive. <laughs> I can't believe it. Anyway, I wanna share a recipe from my grandmother, Evelyn Brown, my mother's mother. Uh, she passed away several years ago, but one way that we like to remember her by is the good food she made for us and the way she prepared a meal for her family. This recipe is for chew bread. I don't know why she named it that. It's more like a cookie bar and it's so good. <laughs> I have kept the recipe I have kept the recipe on a post-it note all this time because I wrote it down when I was talking to her on the phone. Lauren Caldwell. I thank you so much, Lauren, for sharing this recipe with me and uh, all of our friends out there. Uh, it just it just makes me feel good to know that other people have wonderful memories like I have of being in the kitchen with mamas and grandmamas and aunts and friends. So we are fixing to make your grandmamas chew bread. And uh, again, I thank you, Lauren. So here we go. And plus, it's real easy. You forgot to say that, didn't you, Lauren? Lauren. Lauren. It's Lauren. Not Lauren. <laughs> All right, so preheat oven to 300 degrees. We've done that. Butter a 13 by 9 by 2 pan. We've done that. Combine one stick of melted butter, one box of light brown sugar, and two cups of self-rising flour. Now, this sounds a little like uh, my Aunt Glennis's Chewies. Does it do you, Eddie? I just yes. made some kind of recent. Right, I, th I think we, we didn't, uh, let's see, we put coconut, I think, in. Yeah, well, right. the coconut. Yeah, nice thing too. No, not on the chewies. Not on, not on the chewies, no, they don't the, have uh, an brownies, icing. The uh, decadent brownies have the uh, icing. Oh yeah, the decadent Maggie's. Mar Mar Maggie's <laughs> yes, yes. If everything wasn't enough, there was an icing. <laughs> All right, so that's, uh, this bag is equivalent to one box. It's a 16 ounce box. I love stirring recipes. Where you don't have to pull out your big old mixer or anything. Okay. Three eggs, three eggs beat, and then pour those in. So it looks like this might be, all right, now that was plain flour too, wasn't it? Self-rising. No, two cups of self-rising. Okay, so it is gonna rise up. And uh, Lauren said, bake for about 40 minutes. It's tempting to cut into them when they come out of the oven, but wait, they get sort of crackly tops once they are cool. Then you can cut into squares and enjoy. Keep making those videos, Paula. <laughs> thank you, Lori. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, it calls for an eight ounce bag of Semi sweet chocolate morsels, but they, there's no such thing as an eight ounce bag anymore. They're nine ounce, so I'm gonna leave a little bit in there. Calls for three fourths of a cup of chopped pecans, 
Yeah, this looks like my Chewies. Chew bread. <laughs> I love it. All right, now I'm going to stir in our two cups of stuff rising flour. And let's see how much vanilla. One teaspoon. That's kind of my teaspoon, Lori. <laughs> I have a big teaspoon. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I can't wait for these to come out of the oven. So, uh, you know, I, I, like I said, just lately, I have been requesting, if y'all would, share your family recipes with me. And uh, so, Lauren is. And I shot a video uh, for a pineapple cake the other day that somebody uh, sent to me It is out of this world and it's like this you just mix it up And it is gone. It is gone. That thing went fast. It was gone last night. Yes There was lo one little edge like that left and I ate that <laughs> Oh my gosh, and I'm gonna be making another one. I ain't gonna make another one because that was too good. Okie dokie. dessert, and I had it for breakfast. You did? I did. Oh, that's where my cake went. <laughs> oh, I'm going to make one this afternoon if I've got a can of pineapple. It calls for a 20-ounce can of pineapple. Now, who sent that to me? Well, you might not need to after this. Elizabeth. Was... Elizabeth, yes. We, this Elizabeth be... Van Winkle. I love it. <laughs> All right. I think I hear Michael coming in. Chew bread. It really does look like my Aunt Glennis is Chewy's. Grandmothers have left us with a lot of good memories over the years. You know, I just hope that when uh, my grandchildren get some age on them that they'll they'll say, oh, remember Guinea, what she used to make for us? Because that's what it's all about, is keeping the family going with all your family traditions. So, in the oven, this goes 40 minutes, Lauren says, and uh, that's what I'm going to put it on. That looks mighty, mighty good. It doesn't look like bread either, does it? <laughs> okay, we got Lauren's grandmother's chew bread. We cooked it for 40 minutes. And she said, now you're going to want to cut into it, but don't. Because it's so much better after it's cooled. I love the top. It crinkles on the top. Uh huh. It's going to crinkle as it uh, cools. <laughs> so I'm, I'm going to do as Lauren requested. I'm, I'm going to let it cool before I cut it. But I'll be sharing it with y'all <laughs> when I do. <laughs> hey, Lauren, I have done exactly as you uh, told me to do. And we have let these get cold. Grandmama's chew bread. <laughs> it reminds me very much of uh, my Aunt Glennis's chewy cakes. Okay. I can't wait, Lauren. Mmm. Mmm. 
All I can say is keep them cards and letters coming, kids. <laughs> Thank you for sharing, Lauren. <laughs>